Hello, my name is Victor and I'm the Director of Content for BlueDag. Today we're going to go over how to create an evaluation assignment in the system. After you log in, you'll hover over to the panel on the left and click on Evaluations. Next, we'll click on the Add Activity button. From the pop-up window, we'll click the drop-down menu, select Evaluation, then select the type of evaluation you want to create. Once you select the type of evaluation you want to create, the Add Evaluation page will open up. Next, you'll want to add a customer or jurisdiction. In the new window, type in the name of the customer or jurisdiction. Then click Save. After you add the customer name, this new dialog box will appear. If you click on the link provided, a new page will open up where you can add all of the customer or client's details or the information for the contact person for that agency slash customer, such as name, last name, email, phone number, etc. Some of the fields are required if you want to save. If not, you can complete this step at a later time. Once a client or jurisdiction has been added, they are selectable from a drop-down menu. Next, fill out the fields such as evaluation title, address, city, and state. Once you have those three fields, go ahead and click on Map It. This will activate Google Map. On the map, a pin will be dropped at the exact location that you provided for your evaluation. The pin will have latitude and longitude information. And you can manipulate the map on the right to zoom in, switch the view, or even drag and drop the pin to a new location. When you do this, the latitude and longitude information will automatically update. After you've verified the location on the map, you can proceed to fill out the rest of the field provided on the page, such as year built, building type, classification, and inspection type. Later on, you will be able to search by these fields when looking up evaluations. One quick note, the plus signs to the right of those drop-down fields are only available to BlueDAG admins, and you may not see them on your screen. Selecting the proper checklist group is important because it will determine what checklist you see by default on the mobile application. The information icon over to the right gives a brief overview of the functionality of this dropdown. If we click on checklist group mapping, a new page will open up and we can see the checklist group name and the checklist that are associated with it. Once we've reviewed the checklist group, we can make a selection. Now you can add initial inspection date, final inspection date, notes in the description field, and select an inspector from the list. And lastly, we'll select the barrier standards that we want to associate to this evaluation. The information icon to the right gives another brief detail of the functionality of this field. You can type in the year of the standard or the abbreviation for the standard. For example, the 2010 ADAS or the 2019 California CBC. You can incorporate as many standards to your evaluation as you need. Now that everything has been filled out, click Save, and a new evaluation page will open up. Here you can review all the general information of the evaluation, go over to evaluation details if you need to make any changes. If any changes are needed, simply make the changes and click Save. If you have any questions on the information we covered during this video, feel free to send us an email at bdsupport at bluedag.com. Thanks for watching.